So let me introduce uh, my latest hike, the Hidden Waters Preserve. So this 90 acre site was acquired in 1996 to protect a sinkhole lake at the center of the preserve named Lake Alfred, which drains slowly into the aquifer. A ravine carries water from the eastern side of the preserve to the lake, creating a unique ecosystem. The outer edges of the preserve are sandhill restoration areas. Long leaf pines have been planted and gopher tortoises are abundant among the rolling yellow sandhills. The preserve was formerly known as the Echelberger Sink, E-I-C-H-E-L, Echelberger Sink. 110 feet of elevational change between the bottom of the sink and the edges of the preserve offers hikers a rare opportunity to experience some hills in the state of Florida, which is rare. The location is southeast of Eustis, E-U-S-T-I-S, -S, south of CR 44, it's between Abrams Road and County Club Road. So I thought this history was just a little bit interesting. This is the other pamphlet. You can get these when you go. Uh, the site was acquired, this 90 acre site was acquired in 1996 through the LCWA's Land and Preservation Program to protect the seepage slopes, the sinkhole and a high aquifer recharge areas. The sinkhole and surrounding land were threatened in recent years. Protection, so the, I'm just look going down to here. The preserve is, okay, we already got that. Uh, previous uses of the land included a golf course. <laughs> That's pretty wild, isn't it? Uh, in the 1940s and 50s in a citrus grove during the 1980s prior to freezes. The natural communities have been impacted over the years. As a result, the forested uplands around the wetland system and sinkhole are a remnant of the historical, historic forested uplands that once dominated the site. I won't read the whole thing because uh, the video is going to get too long. But uh, this will be the latest hike. This is just the introduction. Let's get into the hike. Woohoo! This is not what I was expecting. So we're here at the uh, Hidden Waters Preserve. And I always like to start the videos. No pets or bicycles are allowed on this trail. But look at this parking area. <laughs> I mean, this is, a, I don't know, I just picked a hike. You know, it's 45 minutes. You come down 42 to uh, 452. It was a beautiful drive, but then you went got into the, the city. I couldn't tell you the name of it, but look at how the other half of the world lives. Man, there were some beautiful, amazing houses. This is called Country Club Road or Country Club. I can understand that. But uh, so we're just going to. This was a hike that was listed on the computer. I don't know how long it's going to be or what to expect. I guess we'll find out. Let's just get going. A beautiful day here in Florida. Uh, that's one of the things that I love. Uh, we're going to get to the sign right over here. This is part of the Great Florida Birding Trail, uh, in case you're, you're wondering. And it looks like we've got some uh, maps to pick up here. And it says the Lake Alfred Trail. Now, I, I know... From the well here, let's just take a look and read about what we're what we're going to be doing because we're going to be hiking around here all day today. So here you go. This is uh, well, it looks like there's a lot of hiking in here. So this would be good. Uh, located within the city limits of there you go. That's the name of the city, E U S T I Estes. This 90 acre preserve was acquired in 1996 to protect aquifer <laughs> recharge areas, water seepage areas along the ravine and a sinkhole lake. The sinkhole located at the center of the preserve contains like Lake Alfred, which draws slowly into the Florida aquifer. So I'm just going to get it up close and let you read the rest of it. Don't want to spend too much time. If you want to pause there, and then you can pause right there to read that, and then right there to read that. So, uh, well, hopefully we'll see one of these uh, gopher tortoises. Uh, of course, they talk about the prescribed uh, burns here in Florida quite a bit. Uh, you know, we do have a good fire management uh, program. Hey, California, maybe you might want to think about that too. But here's the trail system, so I'm going to get a map. I always forget to get the map, huh? So this is the Hidden Water Preserve, Lake County, Florida. Lake County Water, let's see, Lake County Guide to Preserves and Recreational Facilities. I don't know, let's see. Is this a map? 
All right, I'm going to hit the video right there and, and, and look at both of these brochures and then we'll get on the trail. Oh, they do have a little sign-in book. I guess if you want to sign in, I'll go ahead and sign that when I'm done. All right, let's get going. So we're at the beginning of the, uh, the Lake Alfred Trail. And as you can see, there's a fork off to the left and right. So maybe we'll hit that on the way out. Uh, I guess that's another trail. There's all kinds of, I was looking at the map. There's all kinds of little trails back here, but I'm just going to keep going straight. Uh, and this is always a nice touch. You got a bench here. I, I guess somebody was leaving what they used as a walking stick. I, I prefer my own. <laughs> you know, I think that would be a little, uh, if you're, yeah, it looks a little heavy for me, but uh, we're just continuing down and look at this. We're kind of diving into the forest here. Uh, you can see from all the tracks, it's a pretty well hiked trail, but I'm, I'm not unusual i'm the only person here <laughs> you know this, uh, i don't really get it we've got all of these beautiful places to go in florida and it just seems like uh well i mean i, I understand it's a weekday everybody's got to work for a living and they're busy but man i tell you uh you'd seem you'd think you'd be seeing some people out here um this is a nice touch we got the gravel here so i just wanted to show you what it's looking like so we got a trail back there i'm going to be here all day See, look here, you got another trail. Yeah, that's one thing I don't like is, you know, they don't, there's no sign telling you what that is. You know, why not put a little little sign right here? That's obviously a trail, and there's, see, there's a blue mark on the tree. I mean, you can look at the map and figure things out. I'm just going to keep going straight for now, but, uh, so we're going to be here. Here's, yeah, see, there's that trail going that way. Looks like you got another trail going this way. I don't know. We'll just uh, we'll just enjoy the day, and I got all man. We got here pretty early. Got to, we'll just be hanging out for about three hours, uh, doing uh, everything. As I see, you know, different looks and feels, I'll just keep getting clips. Uh, here you go. Here's a little little step down. So that is one good thing I'm seeing about this trail is you've got some up and down. You know, Florida. That's one problem I have with Florida is there's just too much flat hiking you know <laughs> so, you know so I, I do need to get the up and down because i'm hoping you know we're going to venture out uh into into some places uh you know maybe do some mountain trails and stuff and i'm going to tell you when you're used to hiking in florida you're not used to hiking a mountain trail it just hits you hard so you got to get your body in shape so look at here this looks like it goes down to yet another trail down here I wanted to get this view on the uh, on the video, but let's just uh, continue on this way. Maybe this is just going to loop around and continue on down there. Uh, but I'm just going to keep straight, and then boy, we got a lot of trails to hit today. Well, you see the post down here, so yeah, this is just coming down to another trail. Now, once again, there's no sign. You do you go left or do you go right? Uh, well, I guess we go left this time, and then uh, maybe we'll come back and go right. So, um, you know, it would be nice if you had just a little sign right here saying, uh, go this way. Boy, look at that. That's a beautiful view. Holy moly. That is really cool looking, isn't it? No, let's go right. I, I, I like that view better than just diving up into the trees right here. So, man, I guess we're going to be here a long time today. There's a, there it is going back the other way. Okay. Well, surprised I'm the only one here. Let's get going. So I wanted to get this on the video. Look at this little uh, pond. I wonder if there's some fish in there. But look over here, right over there. Maybe we're just going to hike around this pond. There's a bench. So if you wanted to just come, it's not very far in here, to get to that bench and just have a picnic and look at that pond. You know, if you're ever in this area, this is going to be pretty cool. I love that view. Look at the, uh, the trees across the way there. Yeah, see, it looks like you can see the trail right across the way there. So maybe this is just gonna loop around this pond. Uh, so anyway, let's just keep going. So once again, you know, no sign. I'm just, I wanna get some exercise going uphill, but this is the uh, trail that we're looking at. See, there's the bench over there. So we have another fork in the trail. So man, this is gonna be a lot of hiking, just kind of going all over the place here at uh, the preserve, but I wanna get some uh, exercise. So I'm gonna take the right hand fork here go up the hill this might just lead me right back to the road at the top of the hill uh here you go look man i tell you there's a lot of benches on this trail and that's nice 
you see how it's kind of looping back this might just take me back to where we started but uh you know i could yeah i could pull out the map i know but that's no fun man i like uh i like f the feeling of being lost you know do i go right do i go left see there's a white mark on that tree purple mark on that tree and then look at here the, the trail's going off to the left into the woods uh so let's check it out let's see where this goes a uh, different look and feel huh they just came off of the um the, the pond back there so i'm i'm gonna enjoy it so this is uh that's a purple trail i guess if uh if you're watching the video but let's just enjoy this this would be pretty cool so not far from heading up the hill there's the purple marker looks like that's just going to take you right back down to the uh preserve but i'm going to go right because like i said i want to go uphill i have a feeling this is just going to come out at the road but let's see what happens Boy, we're going to be hiking around back here for quite some time. <laughs> here's, here's another trail. I'm just going up the purple trail right here. And look at this. This is, uh, well, I guess that'd be like a pink trail. And I did, uh, there was a note on there, but some of the trails are narrow. So that'll be fun. I'm going to take that after I'm done with this right here. So we're going to, we're going to hit down this little narrow trail. That should be fun. Uh, it was a warning about poison ivy. You know, I, I'm not going to worry about it. But uh, this is what we just came up, kind of hiked up a ravine. So let's uh, let's just keep going. Man, you could hike around back here. <laughs> so we just came up that, and now here's yet another trail. Uh, this is a yellow trail, but look here, kind of a different look and feel. That's pretty cool. So I'm just going to keep on going. You know, let's see where this goes. Uh, Man, I tell you, I'm going to be wandering around back here for quite some time. But at least I've showed you all the trailheads so far, so we won't be getting that much video unless the look and feel changes, or we come to yet another trail. <laughs> so, that's, uh, this is kind of the big, this is like being in a maze. It really is. I've never seen so many uh, turns, or so, or so many little trails going all sorts of different directions. Uh, you know, normally you just get out and you get on like a, uh, you know the Ross Prairie Loop, or uh, or the, uh, the the last hike that was just a loop. You know, so this is uh, it's kind of neat in the fact that you can just go all sorts of different directions uh, and just spend a whole day hiking around back here. But this is uh, this is what it's looking like. Quite beautiful. You can see the power lines. It looks like there's a house right over there. So you really you're not way back in the forest or anything like that, which is what I prefer. You know, maybe uh, the next hike I'll try to find something that's going to really get us off the grid so that would be pretty cool but uh yeah we'll just keep on keep on going this way i'm not going to take the right it looks like this trail's going to break you well it's into another fork look at here so and i know the road is back up that way so i'm just going to make the left here see where this goes you know if i got time we're going to hike all of these different forks today you can see what that's looking like kind of like a little grassy road i think i can hear the traffic up there but we're gonna go we're gonna go this way so this is what it's looking like so i've come to yet another fork uh this is just a there's a road of some sort right over here um and then of course this trail i imagine could probably goes back towards that uh that pond and that's marked as a red trail but i'm gonna keep going this way we'll hike down by this road for a ways they got the fence there and don't climb the fence no trespassing inside the fence but i wondered if this is just going to come out onto the road well you can see there's a red post over here so i don't know we'll just see where this goes well if you were part of the community i mean i guess you could uh come back here and just hike along the uh the road while they have a fence there i don't know but uh and then of course you could hike up by the road that way but we're going to dive back this way and uh it's marked with the uh, red on the post it's kind of weird how they got this fence here you know because all i did was just make a little circle i don't know why they uh they feel like they need a fence there that doesn't make sense to me but i always try to get the weird stuff on the uh i guess you know they want to make sure that's preserved but are you would you hike down in there <laughs> i wouldn't maybe it's because it's uh well, maybe that's a sinkhole and they're worried about uh, the public falling down. Let's see if we can get a view. Let's take a look. 
Well, I guess you could fall down that little hill, but I don't see a reason for defense to you. See, there's a fence over there. There's a fence there. Whatever. Whatever. That's our taxpayers. So not far from that sinkhole, there's another fork in the trail. And I'm taking the right-hand fork. Uh, we'll just see where this ends up. Uh, we're not too far from the road. Just a lot of... And I actually saw some people back there. I didn't, didn't want to get them on the video, but... Uh, so there are some people here hiking around besides me. So let's see where this goes. So the right-hand fork back there just brought me back up to the trail. And there's the road over here. But I always try to get the weird stuff. I wonder what that used to be. That rusty looking thing. Huh. Alright, so we're uh, we're just going to hike along the fence here for a while. See where this goes. But that's what it's looking like. So hiking along, I thought this was a trail. Well, it looks like uh, something's been hiking on here, whether that's people or animals. So you could go down this way. But I just wanted, thought it was a cool view. Here's a Here's a tire over here. <laughs> Somebody rolled rolled a tire into the forest. And then there's a cool rock right here. I wanted to get that. It looks like some sort of metal thing out of the top of the rock. I imagine that was, maybe that was some sort of structure at some point. All right, let's get back on the trail. Well, I wanted to get you the view of, of you know, what's on the other side of the fence here. So it looks like there's some more metal right up there. I wonder what that is or what it used to be. Uh, anyway, I'm listening on, on the radio. And you know, sometimes these songs take on new meaning, you know, when you when you listen to them, you go, well, wait a minute, now I understand. And so the song I'm listening to is Once Bitten, Twice Shy. Bitten, Twice Shy, baby. Because, uh, you know, I'm, I just recently divorced, so I'm Once Bitten, Twice Shy. Now that song has new meaning to me <laughs> after she did the midnight run on me. All right, let's keep going. All right, just passed two more people, and we've dived away from the fence, and we're back here in the forest. Still listening to Once Bitten, Twice Shy, but I thought I'd give you the look, because this is marked uh, green. Boy, I tell you, I'll have to study the map when I'm done. Maybe I'll, I got some uh, candy bars in the car and uh, sit and have a picnic and just try to figure out where in the hell I was hiking around back here. But this is quite beautiful. Don't t definitely a different look. Okay, so uh, I don't know. We just came out of the woods. Now I guess I better get the look. And I came to the sun. It says 1.25 miles. Now I don't know if that means I've been 1.25 miles because I don't think so or it means that this trail is 1.25 miles hopefully it is that means the trail I'm hoping is 1.25 miles I need to get some exercise today so let's just enjoy this but uh that looks like a nursery there boy wouldn't it be great to live out here that'd be that'd be awesome all right so I've come to yet another fork uh looks like that's going to be the gray trail I'm going to follow this looks like this might just come up to a road over here because you can see the power line and see the house there uh, that way I know I've exhausted uh, this trail and then we'll come back and uh, take the right hand fork here Okay, so it looks like another trail that just kind of hikes along a fence next to the road I'm gonna turn around go back take that right hand fork so This is a pretty good view of the gray trail. Here's what I'm calling it uh, You can see it's just uh, Kind of we're still pretty close to the road up here. It's kind of a um, Kind of a nothing burger. I was I was hoping for better hiking, but at least you can spend a day here if you want. Uh, you know, I much prefer uh, the last hike that we did, but I'm trying to strike out and get some new new uh, places. You never know what you're going to find. So anyway, let's just enjoy this. I'll uh, try not to take too much more video unless I see something special here. So I basically came back to where we started. At least I think that's where we started. Because, yeah, there's there's the bench, remember, with the uh, stick on it. And this was the first trail. I said, we're going to take this at some point. So, and there's a person hiking down there. So, anyway, there are some cars in the parking lot I can see up there now. So, let's uh, let's just go this way, and uh, we'll just take some of them little trails. i got to make a day out of it. But I think you've just about seen all of the, um, the preserve here. It's not very big. Just lots of little... Uh, little trails to hike around it's not a, not, not gonna be I mean the weather is just gorgeous so it's gonna be a good day uh, we'll see I'm maybe on some of those other little trails I'll I'll get some additional video all right so we've got a little different look on this side uh, well there's a road right up here but anyway I'm uh, listening to war pigs <laughs> I tell you what Ozzy Osbourne's still great isn't he 
No sooner did I make that clip than uh, remember the white trail. So we're just going to take that rather than I'm having a feeling it's just going to go up to the road and then go it's probably the black the gray trail just goes all the way around the preserve I believe. So let's just take the white trail on down. So we came back up to the road here. So you could just hike along the road if you wanted to. That's a green green well that's a that, that make, maybe that, is that the 1.5 mile? That's another 1.25 mile sign. I don't know what that means. Anyway, we're going to continue on down the white trail here which goes to the left. So let's just get on. They probably take us right back to the uh, the little marshy area. Anyway, uh, I'll do my summary at the end. Um, this is just taking me right back. But you know, one thing I do like about this is I, I like the up and down. If you want to get some uh, up and down, you know, to try to get yourself in shape, which is what I need to do, uh, at least this has a little bit of that. And, you know, like I said, I'll just be hiking around back here for, well, as long as couple hours at least uh, but you can see we've just covered just about the whole thing in well a brief period of time so uh, anyway this is what the white trails looking like and it's just taking us back to where we started down by the uh, the little marshy area I'm sure we're gonna take some other shoots and I'll get a shot from the other side of the pond there well before I get back to the pond I wanted to show you so you just came down those stairs right there nice touch I don't know if this is a trail or not, but it's going uphill, and that's what I'm telling you. I'm just going to hike around and get exercise at this point, because it looks like this is just going back down to where we, where we were a while back. So let's uh, let's get some exercise. So that little left fork, I'm not even sure that's a trail. <laughs> There's nothing marked, so it, you can see it looks doesn't look like a trail, but we're coming up to another another little trail here. So you, so imagine uh, these are just people that go off the the beaten path like me. If you recall when we started, I was excited because I was seeing paths going all sorts of different directions. That's where we went when we first got here. So I'm just going to take the little blue trail and uh, head on down to the bottom now after getting a little bit of exercise going uphill. So the blue trail just brought us back to where we started down by the uh, the pond here. And there's the bench across the way. So let's just go take another couple of them little shoots around and, uh, and then get around. I'll get a view from the other side of the pond here. Now we're kind of repeating things that we've done. We could take the left fork here, purple trail. But I remember, seem to recall up here there was another chute going down this way. So let's go up this way a ways and see if we find that. My memory's better than I thought. So this is that um, pink trail. And so we come back and do that. So let's get on it. You can see it's, uh, oh, it looks a little narrow. I like it. Yeah, if you do come here, you definitely got to check out the pink trail. Look at that view, huh? Kind of heading down the hill with the palms. That is pretty cool looking, isn't it? And I like I like narrow trails. You know, everybody wants to cut the trails so doggone big. It just makes it ridiculous. You don't feel like you're really hiking in the woods. This is this has got that woodsy feel. I like the pink. This best this is the best part of the hike so far. Yeah, look at that. Wonder what I can't remember. Is that a bottle bush? Anyway, just, we just came down that. We're still on the pink trail, but I thought it was kind of cool. We're getting a little bit different look now. Boy, this is this is the best part of the hike yet, man. I'm, I feel like a, you got the feel of being back in the woods now. This is cool. Still on the pink trail. Look at those ferns, though. Isn't that beautiful? You know, one of these days I should just dig some up and plant them in my yard. But, uh, boy, if everybody did that, I guess we'd destroy the, the world. Maybe get back in the Ocala National Forest and find some ferns like that. That would be pretty. That is just uh, really cool. Really cool. Enjoying this. Well, kind of a different look from the pink trail. Looks like it's just going to wander us right over to the, uh, the uh, I think that's the blue, blue, blue trail that goes around the, uh, the pond there. So we'll see. I think it's just going to take us right over there. But this is pretty cool looking, isn't it? With the trees down still got green on it though that's amazing so that's it for the pink trail like i said it just brought us back to the blue trail going around the uh the pond i'm gonna make a, a final clip uh well it'll be the final clip for the video i might make some more clips uh if i find some other little trails around but i'm gonna sit on that bench and we'll enjoy a good view of the uh, of the pond here and uh, i'll talk about the day i will just I'll wait, I'll wait till i get over there hold on so let's sum up uh, Hidden Waters Preserve from the bench here. I'll give you the view uh, if you wanted to come and have a picnic. 
Would I recommend this? No, no. I, I mean, it's okay. It's uh, it's pretty. Uh, just not my uh, my cup of tea. Uh, if you got a significant other, you might come out here for a day. It was a bit of a haul, about 45 minutes from the villages. You come down 42 to, uh, I can't remember, I think it's 465. It's just but just as you reach the Ocala National Forest area, it's the, it's the main road to go into the right. And uh, we do have a good shot. Maybe we're going to get one of this bird out here. Um, but I just wanted to summarize the hike. Yeah, there's lots of little trails, and you can just hike around. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop the... Uh, the camera here off at the car and then I'm just gonna hike because uh, I got to get some exercise uh, so I'm gonna hike all the way around the preserve maybe those signs saying 1.2 miles was saying that if you go around the preserve that would be a 2.4 mile hike uh, and that would finish off the day for me and uh, and then head on home but let's get let's get a view of the uh, preserve we'll walk down to the the pond here and I'm gonna try to get the bird on the video hold on so let's walk on down to the pond I don't know if you can see him over there. Hopefully he won't take off before we can get a better view. Also wanted to see how deep this water is. Or maybe we'll see a fish in here, I don't know. But uh, can you see him over there? There he is. Well, they did call this part of the Florida birding trail. So yeah, it doesn't look like there'd be any fish in there, I don't think. Unless it gets deep out here somewhere. You can see there's another little bird flying around. Let's get back on the bird here. I wonder if I can zoom in on him. That's a 1x zoom. There he goes. Let's get him on the video. Isn't that beautiful? All right. So, looks like the uh, trail around the pond is going to go up this way. I'm going to take that on up. If I see something, we'll get another clip. Uh, but that'll probably be it for this video. Uh, at least we got to see a bird, huh? Yeah, like I said, I wouldn't recommend driving all the way out here. Not, you know, if you lived close by, definitely you would want to spend a day here. But a uh, 45 minute drive just for this, I, I don't think so. There's, there's other places I want to go, other places I want to see. Peace out, stay free, and it's good, 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 good to live in the free, free, free Republican state of Florida under the great leadership of De Sanctimonious. I may have spoke too soon. Just up from the pond, we've got some more little trails that we can hike. So I'm, I'm, I like the look of this one. It kind of looks like it's going to go into the woods and can probably take us up to that trail by the fence. So let's do the right fork here. Oh, this is definitely cool. I had to get this on the video. Check this out. This is, a, this is the stream field and feeding that aquifer. That is neat looking, isn't it? Boy, you could pump that water with your backpack filter and just drink it right there. There you go. So this is kind of, I want to just get the stream on the video as we're kind of hiking along. Well, I'm glad that I came and uh, went around the pond and I uh, found, discovered a little, another treasure here. I'm going to see, uh, this is probably not the trail. There's probably just people that have worn a, a look. But look at that. Isn't that cool though? Let's just walk up here a ways and get this on the video. Look at the little waterfall, huh? Ah, this is pretty cool. Glad I got to see this. Uh, you don't see any markings on the trees. This is just probably worn by people that wanted to walk along the stream here. I'm going to do the whole thing. All right, that's it. Let's see where we end up. It looks like there's some sort of, maybe that's a bridge over here. We'll get that on the video if it is. A little trail by the river. You wouldn't want to do that on a wet day. You could really slip right there. But it wasn't a trail, it wasn't marked, that was just people that were on a little path right there. Somebody put a <laughs> Jack just, uh, somebody put a cinder block on the on the trail that had the, the bridge here. Look at that. Isn't that cool? Uh, this is a this is a a nice twist to the to the day. So in this bridge, looks like we got another trail going up the hill here. Well, that's a red trail. Okay, well we've got to get some exercise. Let's head on up. Well, what a surprise. The uh, red trail came up by this fence. Now, this fence actually makes sense because, <laughs> you know, I you know, do want to protect people from falling off. Plus, you don't want them to wear that that uh, area down. But we got a little observation here. This is pretty cool. Let's take a look. Yeah, look at that. There's a stream down there. All right. That's pretty cool. 
So I'm coming up to the uh, the trail that goes around the preserve, but we got another little observation. Love these gates. I mean, what do they have a gate here for? <laughs> I don't know. I guess somebody might need to get behind the gate for, well, I guess to work on the fence, I suppose. There you go. Another little observation here. Let's walk on over. Well, that's pretty cool. Oh, what's that down there? Is that a rock? Can't tell. All right. Okay, I was trying to figure out where I was. Remember that fence that I was questioning why they had it right here? Now we know why. So the trail kind of goes around. Although, I, you know what? I kind of figure out where the stream. Why is it there another bridge over the stream around in here? Maybe they've just uh, got it under in a pipe down below here. Let's get up here and take a look. That's what it must be. Yeah, I think I see there might be some water down there. So that's what they've done. They just tunneled uh, the uh, right underneath the road with the stream to take it on down. All right, well, that mystery solved. That's good. All right, I'm going to hike back down and take the right-hand fork, get some exercise going up and down, up and down. Yeah, baby. Boy, this reminds me of Michigan. You see these types of little bridges a lot, especially like at Al Royal when I hiked there. I wanted to get this. We're just uh, up from the uh, the bridge that was one across the stream there. But this is pretty cool, and then I always like these little little bridges. I like it. Kind of a little different look, uh, just up from that little bridge. Uh, kid just ran right by me, scared the bejeebies out of me because I'm listening to music on the radio. I, that's the price you pay when you have your headphones on. Uh, people, something come up behind you. And, well, I remember a fox one time when I was hiking, man, he came right up behind me, he was chasing a rabbit. But man, I was a big sucker, man. I scared the bejeebies out of me. I was when I was backpacking Nile Royal. All right, let's see. Yeah, you kind of seeing what I'm seeing. Pretty cool. So we're here to get exercise, come to another fork. The blue trail is going to continue on around. So uh, I guess this is uh, probably another section. Maybe that red trail comes up, goes around that thing, and then dives back in. So I'm going to hike up this to get some exercise and go back up to the fence. And then we'll come back down and take uh, take this fork right here on the blue trail. Still on the red trail. Boy, I tell you, I'm not used to the up and down. It's really getting to me. I'm not sure I am going to do that uh, three-mile hike or what would be 2.4 miles around the preserve. I, this is wearing me out. This is good. Woo, I love the up and down. This is, uh, this is the lookout. That's why they call it the ravine trail. Kind of hiking along that. We've come up that. Of course, people that hike in the mountains are like, this ain't nothing, man. You're, you're fat and out of shape, dude. So, final clip of the day. So you can see, if you just wanted, I mean, this would be a great place when I was, if I was young, that you could come and just jog right around the preserve and get a nice, uh, yeah, a nice jog and maybe go around it twice, you know? And this is the, uh, somebody's here on their, uh, well, I guess that's a scooter, I don't know. And then you can see the trail just kind of, so I'm gonna go get some exercise and just kind of hike around the preserve for a minute. But that's it. Uh, this is the, uh, like I said, part of the Great Florida Birding Trail. This is the Hidden Waters Preserve. The Hidden Waters Preserve. Once again, no pets or bicycles. Hiking, jogging, picnicking, whatever. And if you want to call them, uh, it's managed by the uh, Lake County Water Authority. Uh, or the, yep, and that's it. 352 324 6164. Peace out. Stay free. I'm just going to go get some exercise.